Hello investor and trader, welcome back to another episode of Live Day Trading Recap. So this recap going to be really short compared to the other recap because I finished my day pretty early, uh, around 30 minutes. So ALL, Allstate Insurance, this company is a pretty big blue chip company. It tanked oh, 4 or 5%, which got my attention. So now I'm just waiting where is the bottom. So at the first candle, as usual, I want to see... Well, first kind of one, this is the five minute, by the way. I don't want to jump in right away, especially in the first five minute, because it could fall more or it could bounce. I don't know. I just want to play it safe. Decide to wait for the next kind of right here. This is a glitch, so ignore that. Sometimes Fidelity Active Trader Pro does that. I believe I got one of the comments before saying that this platform is known for these glitches, which is kind of true. All you got to do is just switch the time frame. You know, from five minute to 15 minute, and come back to five minute, this switch should be gone. For me, I know it's a glitch, so therefore I don't really care to do, do the switching time frame. Second candle, what I'm looking for is, uh, is it going to create a lower low or a higher low? I know definitely it's not going to create a higher high, because notice this high is like way up here. There's no way this stock going to do this, right? <laughs> I don't think for this case. So, yeah, decide to wait for the next candle. Oh, right here. So he, right here, I uh, switch back to the daily. Then switch back to the intraday to see how low it will go. Like I said, I use all time frame, except for one minute. I do not really use one minute. Meanwhile, TSM also pop up on my radar uh, because, like I said, again, uh, four or five percent for a big blue chip like this. Heck yeah, it will pop up on a lot of people's scanners. So TSM, I've been following this stock for quite a while already, so I know where the price target interest is going to be. It's going to be around 118 and 120. It's been bouncing up and down that for like several weeks already. So to yesterday was 125. Today, again, back to down 118, right? Kind of coincidence? No, it just, you know, based on the support and resistance on the daily time frame. So I know 118 is price of interest. Right now it's 118.40. Ah, I decided, you know, let it cool down, let it fall back down a little bit. Notice the buyers are here, the wicks are stepping in. And then go back to Allstate just to see what she's doing. So this candle finished. Next candle. I have an order right there. You can see it or not right there. But I decided to cancel it because I know it's not going to get filled because notice right here. It's, I bit a little bit too low. So decided to cancel it. It bounced after that. But still, this has still got my attention. So I'll come back to that in a little bit. Meanwhile, TSM. I decided to enter right there. Sense a little pullback. This is a new this is a new candle. Waiting for it to go back to near 118 because every for me every penny counts because I'm buying a thousand shares. Decided to wait for the pullback. There it is, below 118. So I decided to enter. My sell target is around 50 cents to a dollar as usual. And there's the pop. So it popped near the half dollar. That's why I exited. So that was a quick $400-ish profit, close to 500 There you go. Sold. So it should show up right here. Okay. That was a pretty good trade. And then I go back to ALL. So ALL, I really want to tackle this trade <laughs> for some reason. But I'm just waiting for the opportunity when. I don't want to chase it either. So I decided to wait on this candle. So now, now I notice, okay, this candle hits this moving average, which is which is fine. This is the 6 EMA on the intraday. Now what I'm looking for is, can this pop above it? Or just become a rejection and then go back down? Sometimes it, it does that. So I want to play it safe. I decide to wait, to wait on the next candle. Meanwhile, just look at TSM again. Do I regret selling it right here? No, not really. It hits my target, I get out. Because I got that question sometime too. Remember in the market, right? Bears and bulls make money, but pig gets slaughtered. Once it hits your price target, just exit it. Who cares? Because once you have once you have your trading um, strategy, like for me, right? This dip buy right here. And you see on all my videos, it's all the same strategy. It's all the same formation. Once you nail that down, you can make money over and over and over and over and over. That's how you build wealth over time one small trade at a time. Eventually you hit the six figure and even the seven, eight figures.
but it's not overnight, right? It's one trade at a time. So all state right here. So great, now it pulled back. Now this is where I want to enter, near the half dollar. So that's what I'll wait. You see my order pretty soon. Notice I didn't chase right here. Why? It's because it's just too green, right? Look at that. For this kind of blue chip company, $100 stock from 15 minute for $2 of like this, it needs to take a break, pull back, at least to this moving average right here. That's where I decided to enter, near the half dollar, because that's where the this moving average is at right here. Right here. I know it's going to bounce it's just based on the, I guess, experience and I don't know how to explain it, but I just really like to chase it right here and think it could go higher, which it could, you know, but I like to see the little pullback. And then, and of course, another rip higher, which it does, it does that. There we go. There's the bounce. Cool. Exit it. So near again near near uh, sixty cents, fifty cents, a dollar around there. I'm not gonna wait till okay, it's gonna go way back up here. No, 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 don't do that. Because the high, the chances are it'll do that pretty slim. That's called a V shaped recovery. It could happen, but once like I said, once I hit my price target, I'm out. Because right now I'm already up a thousand, right? Because this right here is four hundred something. This right here is six hundred. That's a thousand dollar profit at combined. But notice right here, it does not show. Sometimes Fidelity Active Trader Pro does that. Now, this is not the first time it happened to me. When the first time it happened to me, I, I was freaking out. I would call my broker, say, hey, what happened? Where's my profit? Where's my loss, right? On ALL, like nothing. It's because there's a lot of volatility in the market right now, and everybody on Fidelity is locked into this platform. Therefore, it caused a lot of lag and disrupted for the platform to show right here which happen occasionally, so don't panic. All you have to do is come back tomorrow, so within 24 hours, it will show the profit loss right here, based on this right here, wherever the, the math is, either a gain or a loss. My case is a gain, right? So therefore, it was over $1,000, therefore I am done for the day. That's it. Um, hopefully you guys are doing well in the market. The market is pretty damn crazy, right? All time high, everything, except for uh, cryptocurrency, it's a little correction, but other than that, yeah, pretty crazy day today in the market. Okay, see you guys later. Uh, take care.